And of course, the trains always run on time. The Royal Danish yacht Danibor arrives at Greenwich on the first day of the four day state visit of the Queen of Denmark. The port of London barge, Nor, with Prince Philip as Admiral of the Fleet, brings Queen Margrethe and her husband, Prince Henrik, ashore with all the pomp and ceremony due to the first foreign monarch ever to land at this historic naval base. Europe's youngest queen, Margrethe, is the eldest daughter of the late King Frederick. Her associations with Britain go back to her student days at Cambridge and the London School of Economics. In fact, she's regarded as one of the most highly educated monarchs in Danish history. Her Majesty Inspector Guard of Honour of the Royal Navy, found by the Naval Home Command. Windsor Castle in brilliant spring sunshine. And now the Queen welcomes Queen Margrethe and Prince Henry. A guard of honour of the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards is mounted. And as the Queen and the Queen of Denmark are conducted to their carriage, the guard of honour gives the royal salute. Down the long walk, the carriage procession is accompanied by the sovereign's escort of the household cavalry. Into the quadrangle at Windsor Castle. At the state entrance, Queen Margrethe is received by Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Captain Mark Phillips, Prince and Princess Richard of Gloucester, and Princess Alexandra. After the presentations, the march passed by the Guard of Honor. Certainly a right royal occasion. <laughs> <laughs> 